Well, it's time for the swing shift briefing. Let's hope we're on time. In his firm voice, Dooley reminds you, Being punctual to briefings might keep some of those corrective memos out of your pigeonhole bonds. Now find your seat. Seat? We don't have chairs. We're all standing. Sergeant Julie says, Men, we've received information from the day sergeant concerning a missing persons report filed earlier this morning. It seems that a Mexican male, physical description of 5 foot 8, 145 pounds, black hair, brown eyes, by the name of Jose Martinez, was last seen by his wife two days ago, getting into a late model light blue Cadillac. No one has seen or heard from Martinez since. A light blue Cadillac? Could it be the suspect car from the murder earlier in the game of Lonnie West? The green car that crashed after he was shot. This person has some previous arrests involving narcotic sales, says Dooley, concluding the briefing. Be advised that this black Cadillac may be one and the same as the one involved in the recent murder of Lonnie West. It's a blue Cadillac, not a black one. The stolen Cadillac from the first briefing was uh, was black, but this one has always been blue. We have a partial license plate number of L964. Dooley then proceeds to give everyone their beat assignments for the day, concluding with yours. Sonny Bonds, your call number will be 8332. Keep it safe out there, boys and girls. Okay. I'm late for court, Sonny. Catch you later. See if there's anything in... Uh... You should buy a new watch, Sonny. You might show up on time for once. Shut up, Jack. Wait a second, Jack. Weren't you at the party? Well, you just look like Jack. <laughs> I don't know. It's hard to tell with graphics like these. See, that's another Jack. There's more, more than one Jack here. And another Jack! God damn, this police force is made up of clones. Okay, let's check if somebody's in our pigeonhole. Something's in our pigeonhole. You check your pigeonhole and find a sealed envelope. Ripping it open, you read a message from an unknown informant advising you of illegal high-stakes gambling in the back room of the Hotel Del Foria Cocktail Lounge. You vow to remember the information and discard the envelope and message. Okay. Why do you discard that? I guess they didn't want to make an inventory item for it. Okay, well, we're back on patrol. No. So we need our keys. And radio. And head out on the road again. Of course, since this is the police car, we do need to do a safety walk around. And then we can be on our way. I'm gonna save this as Swing Shift Patrol. Yeah, I already had a safe game with that name from when I wasn't recording, just practicing a little. So, let's see what's gonna happen during this patrol. Maybe somebody will be speeding, or parking in a no parking zone. Or maybe somebody will drive on the wrong side of the road. Maybe something even more exciting will happen. Who knows? Well, I do, obviously. Ah, waiting for traffic lights. It's like we do nothing else. Well, so far it's pretty quiet. Man, I wish somebody would break the law.
Dispatch relays. <laughs> AP-32 will be advised possible stolen vehicle reported in your vicinity. Vehicle is a white, blue, late model Cadillac, last seen near Justin High, possible drug involvement. Approach caution, 10-4. <laughs> Why did they 10-4 their own message? I don't know. Anyway, it's uh, this car over here, and it's apparently it's the light blue Cadillac that we've been looking for. So that might be dangerous. And it also means that I have to uh, chase somebody again by siren, and I suck at that, so I'm going to save. Wait for him to come to us. And I crashed. Well, that was predictable. Actually, let's set speed to uh, normal, so maybe I'll won't crash so often. Now he immediately stops. Okay. Noting your persistence in driving skill, or lack thereof, the driver of the Cadillac pulls it over after his attempts to lose you fail. Okay. Blue Cadillac. This could be a sticky situation. I'm gonna return the speed to fast. That's radio. Check the license plate of this car. You key your radio. 8332, run vehicle check on license UL6942. Hey, isn't that... Uh, isn't that partial license in there, L694? Your radio quackle... Your radio crackles. <laughs> if you to spec license UL6942. Your radio crackles. Register to 9079 Cadillac, junk to 983. <coughs> A342, approach with caution. <coughs> yeah, thanks for the warning. And look at the plate, even though I just called it in. The license plate is UL6942. Hmm, you've seen... If you remember, the partial plate seen by the witness to the Lonnie West murder was L-964. You may have found your man. Yes, and this guy is dangerous. So we'd better call in some backup. You nervously key your radio. Dispatch, this is 8332, request backup code 3. Dispatch response. <coughs> the advised 8331 is responding code 3 to your location. We need to wait for him to arrive. Because this guy isn't going down without a fight. Officer Jack Cobb arrives on the scene. Cobb radios dispatch. <coughs> dispatch, be advised. Hold all radio traffic control. Code 4 confirmed. Dispatch response. <coughs> Affirmative. A331, this is A332, this is A331, Sonny, all coverage is clear, 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 Sonny, all don't close the door, because you need to take cover behind the door. If you don't, you'll get shot. Load our gun, which we can do with another shortcut. And... Draw it. Get out with hands up. Get out. Be careful. This dude's dangerous. Freeze. Hands up. The suspect falls for a moment, 
and slowly raises his hands. He realizes he does not have a chance and follows your order. Phew! Hit the dirt, scumbag! Okay, okay, I'm lying in! Okay, uh, well, I'm gonna continue in the next video.